Hey everybody, looking to have a little more fun with you guys. I'm gonna try to help you with uh, nutrition. Yep, I know, it's a huge thing. Um, also, if you guys have seen me make this transformation in this last year, losing about 40 to 45 pounds, something like that, and putting on muscle, etc. cetera. Um, and everybody's looking at me like, wow, how did you do it? Uh, so I'm gonna give you that answer, all right? So number one thing was peptides. I studied um, and I give everybody credit and nor do I know everything. And disclaimer, nor am I a doctor and you should go to your doctor and get your blood levels checked and making sure that if you have any pre-existing conditions that you make sure that you know this uh, as well. I had, that I know of, uh, no pre-existing conditions other than just being uh, completely a fat ass and out of shape after a divorce and drinking too much. So that's the truth. Um, you know, I was a long time fitness trainer, but if you don't use it, you lose it. And um, so I've done every kind of modality of fitness from uh, bodybuilding to, you know, say P90X to every kind of body weight thing to CrossFit. I was a CrossFit affiliate owner. Uh, you know, back in the day. So I had some history of a lot of powerlifting, Olympic lifting and all that and all the damage that comes from it. Um, so I knew that the best way to train was gymnastics uh, for adults and not like being a kid and tumbling, even though that's good for you. Um, but more of a, a straight bias program. Christopher Summers Gymnastic Bodies is what I followed. I will put all the links on everything I say uh, to for you guys to be able to uh, to grab this information. All right, so going back to it. So peptides, I uh, studied under Jay Campbell. There is a book on Amazon, Therapeutic Peptides. Uh, I would go ahead and get on this pretty quick because they'll probably try to ban this stuff because if you want to say they, and I'm not one of these conspiracy theories that everybody wants you to get sick and die, but um, you know, you should be able to take care of your own health a lot and uh, doctors don't study this. So uh, this is all new, but yet uh, peptides have been around since the Pavlov. Uh, yeah, Pavlov dog ring a bell, yeah. He's the one that came up with peptides, 1902. So it's been a little bit. So people say, oh, this is new. Yeah, I need to do some research. All right, so uh, yeah, Jay Campbell's book on uh, testosterone therapy replacement, which I do, and uh, also, um, the, the peptides itself, you know, I've experimented with uh, semaglutide, trizepatide, uh, do uh, ipamorelin and tesamorelin uh, at night. I cycle on all these things. I'm just saying out some names. I know you guys have no idea what that means. Uh, like AOD 9604, MOTC. I fix a lot of my injuries with BPC 157, TB 500. There is um, also uh, the site that I get them from is called Blue Sky Peptide. They have a lot of 35 to 45% off sales. Um, if you want to read also about them on uh, Peptide Sciences, they have a blog right there and they have wonderful products that I've used as well. They have more than Blue Sky Peptide um, in different classifications and they also have pills. And Jay Campbell's site is Limitless Life. I'm gonna put all these links down there uh, for you guys to see because um, a Blue Sky Peptide has uh, what I call like all the essentials. Peptide Science has a little bit more and then Limitless Life has everything. Um, and price point wise would be Blue Sky Peptide Science and then the most expensive would be Jay Campbell. Sorry, that's just the truth. Um, so without that kind of stuff, I wouldn't have dropped the 40 pounds. I'd, I've tried everything. Uh, you know, we could say, hey, that maybe COVID changed your DNA strand. I don't know. Um, you know, I was on furlough from a golf shop at the time and I played golf, you know, two or three days a week walking uh, because in Nashville, Tennessee at the time you could do that and it what they just wanted you to walk. And then I'd have some drinks and dinner at night and, you know, somehow that was my semi-retirement for two months and I put on quite a bit of weight. I have no idea really how, uh, but I could not get it off. So without taking the peptides, um, that got me going. And then I did gymnastic bodies training to uh, solidify. So if you live on peptides, this is the number one thing, and which means you're injecting or you're taking pills, right? And there's, read the book. I'm not gonna get into all that detail. Um, 
that if you do that kind of stuff, then you try to have to live a good life, uh, meaning eat more protein, good fibrous carbs. Um, you know, you can't, uh, as Jay Campbell would say, be a flame and dumpster fire and drink tons of alcohol and and then take some aglutide. It doesn't it doesn't work. It won't let you anyway. Um, I have helped people in the past. They've pretty much all lost some good amount of weight just with my advice. So I'm just trying to help people live longer. Um, I think that, you know, there is no reason, and I've had zero side effects. Now, that doesn't mean that if you have a pre-existing condition and you've got, oh, I don't know, colitis or you have something with your heart or any, get all that checked out, right? I am not going to be responsible for that. I'm just telling you that if you don't have any existing conditions, it's pretty simple to take. Um, you know, there is the, you know, you get the little antibacterial water, you get the needle, all that stuff you figure out how to do on your own. Um, it is, uh, it's not painful and it is, it, it's just been the best for me. So um, I've had all my blood levels work done, and guess what? Everything's right in the middle. I went to my traditional doctor when I was a fat ass, and guess what happened? He said, oh, you need to maybe eat a few more vegetables, and you're okay for your age. I and everybody else that gets older will hate hearing that. Simple as that. I have, uh, my hair was growing a little bit bald. I'm Starting to have all the grow back, uh, hair being uh, was was more gray. I took epitalin, which helps lengthen your DNA. So that's kind of been changing the color. And minoxidil and finasteride and things like that I get from Hims. I take the little chewable pills, and that has seemed to help uh, with the uh, with with hair restoration. That takes a little bit of time, but that's you know we all have that kind of stuff we have to do. So, uh, you know, working on the GHCKU now to try to firm up skin. Uh, again, all that stuff is in there. Um, wanted you guys to really understand that. Now, I don't minimize hard work, far from it. I train probably at least an hour or two, practice training skills, gymnastic bodies. They has a, he has a whole foundation course that you have to follow little by little by little. You will not get this by any trainer or any Globo gym. You can do a lot of this on your own. Uh, if you want to train at a gym and do this kind of stuff, you'll just have to have some kind of rings or a stall bar or a pull-up bar, something along those kinds of lines to be able to do most and the body weight stuff and uh, just kind of follow along. The book is fun. Uh, you can just kind of follow along with the book, but the foundation course is actually like step-by-step. -step. If you can't pass the strength or the mobility, you don't pass on until the next level. So... Uh, that's real world training, and by the way, you, you know you will not be a competitive gymnast. Okay, the whole program of foundation one through four is like twenty-seven to thirty steps. Each step takes three months, uh, barring anything else in life. So uh, then there's rings one and a stretching program and handstands. All of that takes somewhere between six to ten years. Now people are like, oh my gosh, that's a lot. How many times have you seen people at the gym? And they've been there for 20 years and they look the same because they're, they're doing a lot of the same stuff or they're just getting on a treadmill because you think that's how you lose weight. Guess what? Oh, by the way, I did zero cardio. My girlfriend, much to her chagrin, doesn't even, I, I don't like going up and down hills, walking up and down hills because I'm trying to save as much muscle as possible. Uh, hiking. I don't like it, but I'll, I'll do it, you know, for her. But that's not my preferred. My preferred, I could going out and playing golf or giving lessons, and I've been supremely busy giving lessons, and I appreciate all of your feedback. I know this is going to be totally different and um, and off the charts a little bit, and people may or may not like it. People may or may not agree with it. Um, I have also, uh, I, I love Gabriel Lyon stuff, where it talks about uh, eating protein, and protein is the human longevity uh, muscle. And, uh, you know, I see people in nursing homes. I lost my father. She lost her mother. And, and everybody could not either work out back in the day. They had some pre-existing conditions or they just didn't train. And if you don't train, if you don't build muscle, then you will have a tendency to get disease quicker and die. Yeah, I know. Fun, huh? Fun at parties. So, um, 
man, I hope this helps. And I'll be sending a, I'll put a link on everything down at the bottom. Um, and that's really about all I can say. I really, I hope this helps, uh, someone reach levels of fitness and, and I will put a PS on this, uh, from last year, my club head speed and you haven't seen me do a driver yet. And I will put that on video soon. Um, you know, it was somewhere around the 115 to 120 mark, something like that. And, but we're average probably 118. And, um, you know, uh, now I was clocked as high as 142. I didn't do any super speed training. I didn't do any, you know, I'm swinging this red, blue, and green. I have those. I've tried them a little bit, but really what gave me that was getting stronger. And I don't believe in this at all of golf fitness. Um, I think that's a bunch of hooey. I think you either get stronger and more mobile and that helps you in life. Um, there's no such thing as golf specific exercises, right? Get a clue. Uh, you know, you, your joints move in a certain way, your muscles move a certain way, you get stronger and mobile in a certain way, and that's it, okay? So try to take care of you and take care of your body. Uh, God bless, love everybody, and uh, thanks for helping me with the channel.